All right, so let's have a quick look at the sources of error in our galvanic cells experiment. Okay, um, one of the things we need to look at is what is the con what are the conditions of the standard galvanic cell. So the standard galvanic cell means basically it's happening at, and I was, as was pointed out today, I'm an idiot. It's 100, um, 298.15 Kelvin or 25 degrees Celsius. Okay, that's the standard temperature. And at one atmosphere, which is 100 kilopascals, not as I thought it was 10, because I'm an idiot. Um, and they're all done at concentrations of one mole per liter. So that's that'll be the first set of potential sources of error that we'll look at. Um, for example, the temperature. Basically, standard reduction potential is dependent on its temperature, so it's 25 degrees Celsius. If the temperature is too high, um, you will get a, so if the temperature is too high, you'll get a lower, or a lower voltage. Um, pressure, if gases are involved, like if you're using, um, say, a hydrogen cell, um, SRP needs to be set at, oh sorry, the SRP is done at one uh, atmosphere, or 100 kilopascals, um, and an increase in pressure will change the equilibrium, and that's, we won't go into that too much now. That's more something for Le Chalier's principle later on. Um, concentration. Okay, so it's done at one mole per liter is for the SRP, standard reduction potential. If the concentration is higher, you'll get a higher electron flow. If it's lower, you get a lower electron flow. Now, one thing that happens is as you go through um, this reaction, you'll get a change in... Um, in the different ions. For example, if something is oxidized, because oxidation is lost, that means we create um, positive ions, the concentration will go up and the concentration will go down on the other side, um, but they they should cancel each other out. So concentration, the concentration of the original molar solution is not um, one mole per liter, you'll get a different set of revo results to the calculated standard reduction. Uh, cell potential. So, cell conditions. Basically, electrode crust. If you have crusty electrodes, which we did, it will decrease the flow of electrons because it all happens at the surface. Okay, It all happens on the surface of the electrode. So if it's got crust built on it, if they're tarnished, um, it will decrease the electron flow. And you can solve this problem by cleaning your electro electrodes. Um, now, Uh, the salt bridge. If your salt bridge dries out, you'll get poor elect uh, poor ion flow, which means you get poor electron flow. So, or the other one is if the salt bridge is not fully immersed. If the salt bridge isn't immersed properly, um, like if part of it's hanging out, or you don't have as much immersed, then yeah, you're not going to get an excellent flow of ions, which will reduce your flow of electrons. And the electrode immersion. Your electrodes must be completely immersed. Um, if they're not that affects the the um, standard cell potential. So we come up here. So you'll get a different value from calculated if they're not fully immersed. Um, the last one that we'll talk about is the external circuit. Basically, it will provide resistance, just a small amount, depending on the the wires used, etc. Um, but it will provide a small amount of resistance, which means you'll decrease the electron flow. So what should actually happen, uh, most likely, is you will have a value that is lower than the calculated um, standard cell potential. All right, and that's it. See you later.